Hello guys, my name is Fox and I'm part 82 of our wrestling campaign in Crusader Kings 2. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode we finished our war with Sweden. It was a pretty tricky one because this jerk uh, King of Denmark joined and a couple of other allies from his side or not not even allies but just uh, brothers in, uh, in fate. Yeah, but we managed to win it, luckily. So, unfortunately, I still can't use the Dutch because I have not enough gold. But the main problem here right now is this 9000 stack almost. Season on Nitra, uh, which has been called by uh, Count of Osterholm and all of his jerk vassals. Currently trying to get rid of one of his vassals by killing King of Croatia. Actually, I already found out who, who was their married, like, or, uh, or who... Uh, are they have alliance thanks to? It is uh, Prince Al... not Alpha. It's Prince Sebeslav. Uh, he's married to this girl, who is a part of the dynasty of the guy from Osterholm. But, uh, because we already have uh, more than 100% uh, plot power against King, I'm just gonna king the king kill the king himself. And let's hope that it's actually gonna break their alliance and make him leave the war. And then it's gonna make it easier for me to fight, because actually the biggest army in this war is currently the army of Croatia. Oh! I'm pleased to report that majority of population in Southern Manland has been converted to the rest in fate. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm always glad to see the conversions happen. So now it's North and Zoroastrian. Zoroastrian. Great. Awesome. It would, would be also great to have some more of the tribal lands converted so just so they're going to be able to become baronies, but that's fine. Yeah, by the, way, by the way, this war got uh, declared on us uh, while we've been weak, because I've disbanded my mercenaries. And this guy kind of thinks that I'm not strong enough to fight him. And it's currently kind of true, but if I were to get rid of his allies, uh, it might be possible. Defenders of Ninja successfully raids the camps of besiegers, inflicting heavy casualties. Okay, they lost like 300 troops. Also, we have one more courtier joining in here for some reason, so it's now 115. Oh my god. The Persian courts further with each other when the dog is a formal declaration of war. From Kuz, or Guz rather. Oh, okay. He's not that strong, actually. Hmm. And talking about that, we've been allies with your father, you little bastard. But at least you have no allies. And what is this war for? Holy war for Corland. Okay, uh, we have relatively similar sized armies, and in case of emergency I could always borrow money from the Jews, the problem is that I still can't uh, banish them, I don't think. Yeah, we still have this one promise of Jewish religion, God damn it. Mm. Are we gonna get bonus for defending against infidels? We could raise these troops, where is this gonna happen? It's unfortunate that it's not showing. It's not gonna be... Uh, oh, it is gonna be this one. Or at least partially. And yeah, we have still 300 troops around here. Any way for me to get them around? Maybe. Also, 200 from Marie. Okay, let's go and try to get them to all the others. And I need to start sieging something, I guess, against Goose. If I want to fight with him. And our army is already in here, so why the heck not? Or actually, it's probably gonna be... Uh, a lot more reasonable for me to try to sneak his... Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a long way around. Hmm. He's probably gonna be able to merge his troops together before I'm gonna be able to uh, sneak some of them. Okay, you guys get together. We're gonna try to get you around my capital somehow as well. Hopefully. Okay, yeah. Let's go and just try to get some sieges uh, going. Okay, you have 3,800. We have 34. And no mercenaries available, unfortunately. And Creation King still not dead. Okay, my concubine is pregnant, that's fine. 115 percent, please. It should uh, fire in like one year. Because we have more than 100 percent war score, so... Or not war score. Plot power. War score and plot power is different things. Now the break of disease in the camps of Muhu has killed many besiegers. Of course. Of course I'm getting all the... Freaking uh, negative events. And we have pillagers. Yeah. The best time for pillaging. How about pillagers gonna go and fight with Goose instead of me? Also, it would be great if I were 
if uh, so we've been able to like plot more than one, plot to kill one more than one character at a time, because I want to kill this king as well. Also, any chance of me calling in uh, this guy? Yeah, you're gonna join against this, not gonna join against Nitro. Okay, you have relatively sizable army, so having you in this war gonna be helpful. Here we have a nephew. So yeah, you have 3,500 troops. Please move them somewhere near me. It would be kind of useful. Useful, I should say. What the heck this word was. Okay, and you. Could you move not through the enemy territory, please? Somewhere around here, if possible. Not through the... Not through the rebels, because I see some rebels popping in here. They're probably gonna be... Oh, they're not uh, hostile to me, so that's fine. Muhu. Okay, so defenders lost some troops. Okay, that's great. And there's the army of this guy. But, if he want to attack me, he would have to suffer... Um, a straight crossing. Also, let's go and get some decent commanders in charge. Actually, we already have decent commanders, I think. Uh, moral defense, minus... Three. Oh no, I actually have... I actually would like to have all the defenders. Why the heck we have so many... Cravens in here? We have no... Traits. Defense plus force 9, okay, that's better. Yeah, let's get all the defenders in here. Just... So we're gonna be able to defend against this guy. Pursuit, moral defense, damage, defense minus 1.5. It's not too awful. And anyone else around here? Mounted troops, farmland step planes. And it's actually planes. Okay, that's gonna be perfect. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually gonna matter at all, because... Even though there's a lot of modifiers and stuff, but most of the time... Uh, most of the time... It's uh, the only thing that matters is the amount of troops. So, uh, actually, at least I'm gonna have... At least I'm gonna have these galleys around. Just so, so I'm gonna be able to retreat. Uh, this guy just ignoring the war. Great. Okay, some points. So we're gonna have... About 3400 troops. And he's gonna have straight crossing. Hmm. I don't know if it's gonna be good enough. Anyone we could race around here? Yeah, we have actually troops from this newly conquered lands. Uh, what's the button for that? Z? X? Yes. Okay, so we have about 200 in here as well. 300, okay. What about boats? Uh, I need like... Oh, I need only three boats to be able to get in here, so this five should be enough. Uh, should I take this battle? I don't know. Population of Varen has been converted to the Western Fate. Okay, why all of a sudden it's getting converted so quickly? Probably North Fate losing moral authority, or, or, or maybe just luck. But great, yeah, more the restaurants. Always welcome. We're getting to Calavan. Okay, this guy's gonna be able to get some reinforcements. You guys have low morale, unfortunately, so I'm not gonna be able to land you in time. You're going to lie on Emma, so you're probably planning to get straight to this army. Come on, guys, could you please move uh, slightly quicker? And also bits of reinforcements. Yes, he's going to Sarema. Sa and when... <laughs> um, when the... AI thinks that they could win the battle, most of the times it's actually true. So, I'm kind of scared right now. I don't know what to do. No, the King of Croatia is still alive. Okay, you're gonna arrive on 13th of August. Let's go and just get this army on boats and try to land them here if possible. 9th of August. He have straight crossing. Now, let's hope. Let's get this army in here if possible. Okay, we're losing more troops than he does. And we're losing more morale. 
Okay, I fucking hate this game. Oh, never mind, actually. It mostly been in the first phase. But in the melee combat, we managed to crush his middle and his uh, right flanks. And now the left flank totally gonna fall. Okay, maybe I just don't understand everything, but my tricks actually worked out. Surprisingly. And uh, now we're gonna finish this siege. Then kill the remains of his army, but there's certainly like 100 left. Yeah, totally gonna be trying to enforce demands. He's totally gonna accept white peace already, but I... I'm not gonna accept white peace anymore. Mm, let's go and get this 150 troops as well. Okay, great. I, I'm i actually happy that this trick worked. I really am. You die, and we, I guess, gonna get back to the siege. You guys get on the boats. Uh, this thing is fully sieged. But you can siege stuff in the box, which is great. But the rest of the army is actually gone somewhere, so... They're probably going for... For stuff around my capital. And King of Russia is still alive. Come on, 115%. Game. I don't know how many months it's already been, but... Okay, finally. There's a plot. I hope you're not paranoid. No, you're not. Okay, let's hope that you're just gonna die first try. And you're gonna live the war. Success! It seems one did not agree <laughs> with King Stefan on Croatia. He did not know in the name of his killer. Perfect. Now, you're not the part of this war anymore. Great. Now, we still have uh, 2000 of crit. Really? Uh, fucking crit. You have boats, and you have enough willingness to bring your troops in here? Okay. Also, any chance of killing... Okay, this thing needs to go away. Yeah. Uh, now, Croatia being ruled by a three years old girl. I'm happy about that. Any chance of just uh, directly killing this guy? 69%. Okay. What about Brandenburg? 39%. And about crit? 40%. Uh, okay, let's go and uh, check what your ties are. With the Ostrichom, Theophanes, Theophanes, brother Pilaterius, brother in law. So, Pilaterius, this guy, could we kill you? 26, what about your wife? 32, okay, no chance of that. What about Brandenburg? How's your allies? Vavrinich's brother in law, Vavrinich, so. This girl, could we kill her? 53%. Uh, okay, let's check it Wha some more. What if we were to try to directly kill you? Anyone willing to be bribed? 40% for 20 gold. Oh, yes. Yes, please. And 32% for 20 gold. Yes, I'm willing to pay it. Totally. I know I'm pretty close and being bankrupt, but it should be worth it. Uh, even if this uh, one death not gonna end the war immediately, it at least should break alliances, so it should be easier. Now, with Goose, yeah, we're just gonna continue sieging this stuff. The boats, I think, which we just combined together, they do not... or I don't really need them anymore. Okay, great. It's actually working out relatively fine. There's another one, Siege. 90%. Are you willing to surrender yet? No. You're probably just uh, gonna force me to get you to 100%, and I think it's gonna be easier to just... Also, we're starting to get ticking wars, because that's perfect, because we're controlling the duchy. So I might just con I might just ignore you, I guess. 10% with ticking wars shouldn't be that long to take or uh, uh, to get, right? No, actually, 500 troops should mean... Should not be that hard to kill as well, so... Just gonna do this. And there's one 100%. Awesome. Thanks for the money, by the way. I totally could use some. Also... Uh, I thought we already lost all the sieges in here, but apparently... We managed to siege something else. Uh, also, we're getting pillaged in these places, which is... Not great, but at least they could 
Couldn't siege uh, everything down. But that's fine. Or anything down. 142%. Any chance for me to get it to like 200? No. There's only one person to bribe. Spy master. Hmm. You're actually relatively close to being bribed, but you're not gonna accept, unfortunately. So, we got some moral authority from defending against this Holy War, so that's great. This guy not gonna join because he's of the Catholic and he's a jerk. Uh, actually, we also now have enough money to, uh, to absorb the Duchy of Norland. It's gonna cost me 100 gold and I think I'm willing to pay for that. Yeah, why not? I want to have a Duchy and uh, any content characters around here. And this ambitious guy totally not gonna receive it. I have decent uh, martial skills, so I'm gonna give you the Dutch of Norland. Great. Now we have how many? One, two, three, four, five Dutches out of six from the Sweden. So we're uh, relatively close to be able to use up Sweden at some point. And also. Haven't Sweden uh, changed changed the ruler? We still have a truce with them, so yeah, they still have the same ruler. That's unfortunate. My co-conspirator has assembled the parts of mercenaries who will ambush Count Hanus, disguised blah uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah, go die and please uh, let me end this war inconclusively. I uh, would be perfectly fine with that. Success! The mercenaries ambush the carriage of Count Hanus. Okay, so the war have not finished inconclusively, but... There's... Oh! There's a girl on charge, but these guys are still here. Really? It's still considered as an alliance. No, it's not. Okay, that's weird. Uh, why the heck Croatia left? After I've done this thing. But these guys are still around. Hmm. Yeah, now they technically have no alliance with this girl, but they're still the part of uh, the war. Okay, any chance of me killing them directly then? Oh, I know why this happened, because their ruler changed. So, that's like... Uh, they had to be called in uh, again, but they could not be called ag in again, because they're technically not allies anymore. Okay, so Brandenburg, 39%. This guy, 40%. I have some money to bribe, if people willing to join. Oh, if only this Mysticus were to accept. Also could bribe blind men. Okay, so we have 40, we need 60 more. Could we get this? If we were to bribe all of these small people, we probably could, but... It's gonna require a lot of money. So it's gonna be 58. Like 66, 74, um, 80, yes, it's not not close enough, unfortunately. Uh, what about this guy then, Brandenburg? Please, say, uh, tell me that your spy master is willing to kill you. No. Mm. And there is actually no one I could even bribe in here. So they still have the bigger army than I do. I could try to re release and re race, but I have actually a feeling <laughs> that I'm gonna race less. Maybe not. Ah, let's go try it. Release the race, just try not to raise troops. Oh, I should not have God damn it! should not have Drop the troops from this dacha, but oh well. So how the heck I'm gonna do this? I guess I'm gonna... Hmm, there's no way for, for me to avoid this guy's being killed, right? What the heck? Ascended to heaven, the age of 51, dead, died natural death. That's weird. And now we're playing as an inform character. When the heck you managed to become inform? Oh my god. Okay, we need a new heir. Right now. Not an ugly guy. Just vote for someone who have decent martial skill, please. Like... 17 is not good enough. 
But this guy have no combat modifiers, even though he is a brilliant strategist. It's also really strange to see. Oh, Satrap of Norland, he's not even from my dynasty. Nope. Okay, I guess it's gonna be this guy. He has decent stewardship, and he's also Holy Warrior. It's a pretty decent trace, so... Yeah, let's go and vote for our kinsman. And see what our vassal, vassal's gonna say. Ah, and of course I just re released my troops. So now I have less to raise. But actually I have higher cap, because my marshal is decent. Even though I'm infirm, I still have 20. That's quite surprising, but I didn't think I could heal from infirm. And these guys have 5,000 in total. That's garbage. Hmm. Okay, any commanders? Or I need new commanders, rather. Get this guy. I don't want my heir to be a commander, because... The odds are pretty high he could die, and I would not like it to happen. Also, I'm probably just gonna go and focus on hunting, just to give my, uh, myself some health. And try to live some more. And my heir, I would try to marry... To someone with a genetical trait, if possible, and if not, then just a kinsman to my own daughter. Uh, yeah, if you're my heir, you have to <laughs> marry my daughter. That's the rule. No, she's only 10, but you're gonna like it. And actually, it's already time for me to have break, guys, so I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna continue in the next episode also. Let's go and check it one more time. First percent now, yeah, it's probably just gonna be even less. Yeah, so. If you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you could subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it, and I would answer you as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.